Hey folks, Son of Feast here, and we got a great matchup coming here along the way as we have the Nashville Predators in the Wilds as the series is tied up now. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you this one, but there is so much uh, battle in between the second seed and the third seed. Without any adoption in mind, this was a hard breakout course that they have it all in front. The next one could be the one to take their way down at the bottom if there's a chance to try to stop them big here. So, who will lead the fifth game in the series? Will it be the Predators or the Minnesota Wilds? Well, we'll find out if the chance has already made. So, let's get things off as right now, I will be heading things over here in the post game. And the commentating right now will be Test 2 and OJ to give things all on the board. So guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the game. Hey, Son of Beast, thank you very much for our time right now as we are all set here to go. As we have the XL Energy Center here, the fans are ready to do this. Me and OJ are starting things off here in Game 5. Let's see who will take the advantage here and have it all counted out. As right out of Wilds all start up, we start our way down on the board. All fuel, and we're ready to go. Starting up is Kravitzov. He now swings it back into the offensive end. Carmen inside, finds Fabro here with the takeaway. This is back to Dutchney. And a takeaway up by Hartman. Save up in front, oh my goodness, Cyrus got a great piece of it to start things off. You know what, Saros was only there in time. It can be very challenging to give it up here in the board. But maybe the bad time can be a difficult range here if they wanted to give him off here on a better time. Fabio up the Dutch team. Duggany right back in the offensive end. Swings off to Fabro. Fabro with the uh, with a nobody man look of advantage. It's Kapitz off with a takeaway. Man, sweep down. Only this one that does tell you that he puts up a body check. The slam it goes, the hard it hits. No matter how hard you get there, it's a very tough, disappointing effort. Hogan, Hogan with the save, and they will have to hold the puck here with 1731 left. There's still more time left here as Wilds and Predators don't have the goals yet to be given. Nashville goes to work here in offense. Now it's Gutero. Backing up here, back in the passing the neutral zone. Shot in a slap shot. And it goes off wide. Boldly up front. Goes up with a goaltender. Nashville looking for a man opener advantage. Now Benny will have to take it from here. The Predators are right in the offensive end line. Takes a shot, and that goes off of the Cajonin. Cajonin really got a, got a great work here to make a solution to try to stop them. This offense was not even a close call because it was going to be happening again to hit them back on Aristotle. Two main advantage out there. Dumba takes it away. Minnesota going back in the offensive end. Catches along the board. That goes off tip wide. Fiala up. Holy save by Saros. Saros got a good work here to try to keep the puck control inside. Now he wants to get right up and get away. Stand up when you can. Elkhorn right up in the neutral zone. Swings up in front. That shot goes tipped wide. Greenway, right in the neutral zone. Picks up inside. Now it's Myers with the takeaway. Now it's Trenton up and along the defensive boards. Now we got a Russell going on here with an Erickson Eck. Now Erickson Eck controls the puck. With a slap shot saved by Saros. Saros got us something better out there. But they were trying to, like, reach him out with the hair timing and info. Still lots of time left as the score still even up. Nothing is given out yet to each team, but it was very tough for them to keep an eyes on. 
Spurgeon right out in the corner of the wall. Jennick takes a steal the puck. Myers up in front. Wrist it up. Jane goes in traffic with the puck shot. Greenway takes it over to Bolingo. Belegno fires across the board. Now we'll kiss it back to the car. Minnesota back in up front. Now he works over to Jennick. In front giveaway, Saros save. And it goes up here again. That moment of time, that dusky leave be that carrier was going to try to stop him, but I didn't give him a run. Kaprasov, the only take the tape feed, gives him a running score position. And just like that here before, because there is much timing to get things up here, one by one on each side. And with there is another chance here out there, there could be another one that we could, could be uh, forgotten here to find out who has the man advantage. And for take the tape for Kaprasov, we have to see if we can get there by. Guys, thanks here, life friend. The only thing that we have, uh, haven't talked about it here before is that Saros is the only man here on a goalie. The goalie defenders are always like incredible to make the existent out there. But all we have noticed here before, it was hard to make them pay for. Myers trying to face the attack. Bethany back out in front. Nashville inside with the shot off the Cahoonan. Bethany up the carry. Grandland shot. That goes to blocked. Shot block's not going to count for that one here. You're going to need to find a man open up advantage offense. That could be a tough one to go by. And it looks like they're starting to fight. They're going to try to go for it. This is not looking good because the man on the partner has got even a lot of a uh, tough range inbound. That will be a hard one to try to stop them. And fight wins for Wilds. Hartman delivers the gain of energy. And they will have to go into the penalty box here with just five minutes of fighting for those two players. They got a lot of stuff out there. Hartman was trying to like try to force him down and put revenge on Philip Myers. And he says, that's all that you got? Well, there is another way to try to stop them. Nashville wins here for the price off. Posey up front. Off of Cajonan. Oh, almost got into the goal. That was close out there. But he got a good hold of the puck that time. Now he got a great angle of it. Still more time left. Tomasino. Chuck goes up wide and saved by Cajonan. John Hansen, right back to Fabrio. Tasmino, and it's Goligoski. Goligoski with the takeaway. Minnesota back in the offensive end. OC with the takeoff. Double man on him, gets off to Fabro. Johansson gets across the backing up from the line. Tasmino, saved by Kahankinen. There was so much out there with the uh, with the break open shots here on offense that really does stand the shock. Now Nashville tries again. Hosey inside goes off the line and with the goaltender. Goaltenders are looking uh, straight and in, in between the gaps. There might be somebody that uh, might be going in nearby. That's off again by Spar Saros. Fabro takes it off. Gooder up in front. Oh, Tassano gets it back with the puck. Johansson goes down. There is so much attacks out there. Johansson was going to be really ready to get wrecked up. And he's going to get swacked down because that was going to be a very close call deck without the penalty. Saros covers the puck. It's a save me by, by Nashville. Still more time left as Buaha Wilds gives it up in front. Sarah saves up again. Forsberg back on the offensive inside. 
Marines, shot takes off wide hit. There is nobody man on offense on the offense because of that one here. It was blocked up in front. They gotta find somewhere else to try to give them along. Predators are gaining up steam here. Not me, right up in front. With the slap shot, that goes off wide. Off of Cajonan. Greenway up to Erickson Eck. He fires up across the board. Now Faber will try to take it from here. We got a tight one here going in for the collision on the board. This board can be very, very tough to make, try to make the wide. And also have picking up revenge out there. They want to, they want to try to slam someone down. Shoots it up again. That's blocked. Fully no, that's the puck. Just have the board up and around. Now he moves to Terran. Trennan up in the, in the neutral zone to offense. He takes it off a net and that goes up again. Fiala back into the offensive end. This one moves back over to uh, Dodoro. Saved by Soros. Soros was going to get there deep. Now he knows the puck right away. He's got some great heavy takeoff here. Four and five face-up wins. This was a heavy close-up here in between the uh, setup attacks. There are three block shots here for, for Gorley Goski. Now he takes it up a little more on the right. Burn can't find anybody. Oh, trade it up! And he couldn't get it in. Still more plenty of time. The score is still even and there is no uh, no change up yet. Betting up front, Kyle Hogan went game to never save in. The saving drive was gonna never gonna be a double on that one. It may be rough. But there can be a very hard time to give that one by. Sarah saves again. It's only 4 2 left to go. Still no score. Nashville goes right into the uh, defensive wing. Now he brings up an F the neutral in the offense. Now it's Cajonan taking another save again. Face off win here for Minnesota in the defensive zone. Now you shot the Fiala. Now back to Brown. Over to Broden. Bowley getting a little bit of whack off here on Forsberg. Forsberg was going to try to slam it down. There was no way that he was going to get there in front. That can be a very tough job here to try to hurt someone. Here's someone that can't, we can't do that one here, the same thing too. And Dougie back in the end. Moves along its side. Up again. Cody makes a save. Still lots of plenty of time left here, as it's still no goal yet for in between those two. Somebody might have to get up on the board. The board, we might know, it might be Nashville Predators, or it might be even Minnesota Wilds. Can be a biggest choice option. Tip up along again. Inside, he scores! It's Kaprasov, and it's a first goal for the Wilds. Guerrero what a playing out him to believe him. That may be his own timing effort to hit this goal and try to extend its courage up here on the board. The Minnesota Wilds take a one nothing lead. Now it's the Predators' turn. Taking slam down the physical contact. Dumba right on board. Now back the over is Broden. Wings it over to Zuccarello. 
Zuccarello in the offensive end. Kaprizov doing it again, and it's Saros with the save. Two times in a row. That's a lot of uh, two uh, apprentices in, into between the attackers. This may be a very tough one to get right by him, and they wanted to like try to knock them out of the way. Nashville wins it again. Now he ends up to Johansson. Hey, back in price here, Cohen, and makes a save. And it will hold the puck again. 33.6 seconds left here in the first period. Minnesota wins here for the face off and defensive end. Goligowski, 20 seconds left in the first period. Swings up center, Chuck goes in and wide. And he go heavy impact down on the board. Three seconds. With a shot, that will be off target. And that should do for the first period. It's 1-0 as Kupersov with the first goal in game five. Tremendous run out there. What a short drive in. All back here for the second period, and about to start here for the second period of Game 5. Puck is up, and we start now to continue for our playoff of this game. Now, Berlin will have to take it from here, and the late penalty coming up for Minnesota. Yeah, this is not turning out that great, because that was all turned out. And there we have the call, and this was going to be a holding on that call. Matt Zuccarello is in the penalty box. And we have a first power play coming up here for Nashville Predators. No sense of slashing was going to be too much for Matt Zuccarello for him tonight. He's not having a great day here to try to stop them by. Because if something goes on him, well, that could be your team's problem. Puck drop and a frozen biscuit has forced her. Shot inside! Oh, Cousins would have got a chance to save him! But it was too late. Yeah, it was too late. That was gonna be a that was gonna be a bigger problem going on. Predators and the Wilds will keep the play possession here. The puck scoots back as they will have to reset things on attack. Now Dutchski. Right in inside the slot. With a shot, that just tipped wide. Erickson Eck swings along to right over the board. Ozzy up the Duckney. Ditchney has his own puck in room transition. Johnson up, and it will be ripped off wide. Grunlin up, saved by Cahonet. Cahonet's oh, got a great muscle on his way through. Now he needs to try to slow things down by to try to get back up and lead. Up again, the Hackney. Up again in front, and it went off wide. Kilikov. And the pass is broken up. Forsberg up, that's in front. That shot drives in traffic. Takes a shot, that goes saved by Gahonen. Gahonen's got a great piece of that with his skills. Great seed, great help, great save. Predators up again with the shot, and I will be driving out of traffic in play. Now the penalty for the Wilds has expired, and now this one is even strength. And Zuccarello gets swept down the boards. Swings up to Guterro. Guterro has it in front. Swipe in front. Forsberg. He trucks the ball right over to Cousins to Tapasino. And it's Broden with the takeaway. Zuccarello tries it from the top. Dumba up in front. Lifts up to Fiala. Minnesota back in the end of the minute starting of the offensive streak. And it's Saros with a saving. Saros really delivers that one all. Now he has to try to save the day in order to make them go alive.
puck, three zooms, and it's all continued up here for one nothing lead for Minnesota Wilds. And all alone, saved by Cajonan. Dumba still worked his way around. Fiala back into the, in the neutral zone to offense. Tomasi now tries it up here for the offensive end. Holds up in front. Dumba outside. Goddard in control of traffic. Takes a shot. Saros makes a save. Saros was pushing in there all alone out there. Looking for someone to try to stop him by. The first and biscuits is dropped and Florida, uh, and I mean, sorry, Nashville Predators will resume the play here. Dutch Knee along in the wing. Moves around the puck. Kapitov takes a steal. Spurgeon up in front. Now going back in the offensive end. Whoops around in front. Save by Saros. Oh, the number one big batter out there. Can be a difficult range. Once again, no penalty has been up. No foul has been given up. Only one penalty of a power play has been given up. Zuccarello up to Hartman. Hartman delivers a punch. Now to tip up in is Hosey. Zuccarello up inside. Hartman slips, shoots off the traffic out on Saros. He has another attack. Forsberg, and that gets him caught in two man traffic. Doug me back to force lane. Moves around. Moves around. Shot went tip wide. This was not even a close call that does give him up here a too many timing effort. Capers off back inside here in the offense. Now again, out for the Predators. It's touching. Right over to Sissons. Sissons up in the corner of the board. Shoots! Scores! Now they tie the game up by one. You gotta know that Colton Sissons was gonna make it in time. He was able to pick up his momentum to try to shut them down here in the second period. The Predators and the Wilds are all tied up now. This is now a 1-1 game. They're looking for a chance to take the lead here in between those two. Now Sissons. Lives inside. Shoots. Saved by Cajonan. Cheated up in front. Two on one will pick up. Polagno's got it across the right pass in the neutral zone. And now in front, Alcone takes a, takes a cover after Sarah's save. Nashville in the attack. Erickson Eck delivers off to Polagno. Goliuski to Erickson Eck. Minnesota back in the offensive attack. Greenway up in front. Sarah saves it. Still more time left to play here, as the score is now even here for those two teams to start making driving moments. Your know, driving moment was going to be a very tough one to make them uh, pay for, and sometimes when they have it all in covered out there, it may be a roughness to give it a try. Fiala got it across here, passing the defensive end. Swings the inside, saved by Saros. And Faber will have delivery off here with the offensive rebound. The rebounds are giving him trouble here. Only the day that does give him out here so far was all the players that wanted to shake that down. Oh, the big attack slows him down. The Predators are on a hunt. Kunin up at the puck. 8.30 left to play in the second period. To South the Hospital. Save again by Cajone. Boldy right up across the Fiala. Shoots again. That goes off here on Saros. Saros was going to make him some more pain off in here. 
And Forsberg will have to try and make him score. Shoots fly! Off the target it goes by Gahonen. He shoots again! That goes off target too. Spurgeon right to Kaprizov. Brown out. And in neutral zone. Goro! Scuff and catch me by Saras. You can see that Alex Groboski, they were going to need to try to like face you up with a difficult call in the situation. But now I know for him, he might be feeling okay for him. So we might be seeing him, what's going on him for tonight. Still more time left here at 7 8 left in the second period. It's a 2 1, it's a 1 1 game. Now swings off to Forsberg. Forsberg right into the offensive end. Shoot goes blocking traffic. 2 and 1! Oh, he went with wide! Forsberg, Morel with the takeoff. Kaprizov right back in the offensive end. Shoots the wild one. That will be uh, caught in traffic. Two in the side. Saved by Saros. Iron Man goes down. Now the Predators will working up steam here. It's off to Garland. Garland up in front. And Cajonan takes a save. Zuccarello up in front. Romney say of a wing gets caught up the board. Sissons right in all along. Sweep around and a Kogan takes a save again. They're not going to raise that shot. They're not going to keep on shooting. They got to find somewhere new fast. Off the Sissons. Gets whipped up around. Great D on the Wilds. The Wilds are now in the offensive end to try to break the attack run. Up again, the Sissons. Nashville got it across, passing the blue line. And up forward in front. Up again by Kamodic. Kolkov with the pep. Races along right in the offensive end. Team by Saros. Saros got a big heavy meet here. He now might be heaving up for more. Guro up inside. That goes off on Saros. Shoots in. Tight bound in the big controlling position by Baldy. Guru off in front. Save. Oh my goodness, by Saros. He is knocking all over the place. Still more time left here as this one is setting down to the second period with the closure. Wilds will take their possession. Kuduru up inside the front. Pass is broken up here and the shot goes off whip wide. Baldy up in front. Run away. Save again. Kuduru rebound. Save again. Now that what you call Saros a big kill hero. Inside the boards, that will be blocked up by Dervitsky. Greenway sends up the boards and turns around. Elko right to Johansson. Right to Cunning. Cunning. Shoot slide. Saved by Cunning. Cochran really gotten into it. He is working on his ability run. He is trying to make it strong. We're almost had done for the second period of the game. It is still even. Right now, it's a 1-1 game in between the Predators and the Wilds. How's he up in front here? Saved by Starox. Erickson back up in front. And it will carry it off with the, with the puck right over the deck. The last minute is about to begin now in the second period of the game. And the score is none in each box. There is so much over ones that are going to be very tough to make them wide and pay for count. Not to worry about that. They may be going for another one. Now switch up to Fabrino. 
Carter right to Johansson. Right to Hosey. Ten seconds left. Takes a shot. Goes up with a bad pass for Leesman. Goligonski clears the puck. That should do for the second period. The even now is being held. We'll be right back in the third, when the third period is coming up after this. Third period is now ready to take on the books in between his on off attack. Well, it's been too long here so far. A lot of game was in between in the attack moments here. And this is a lot of a tense out game right there with the game. What do you think of this matchup? Well, it was a very tie in between those two. I have nothing to say about that one because all that happens here, well, mm, yeah. This was a very tacking moment going on. And between inside and out, I have nothing else to say about that. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to tell them to reach out with their game. We are still tied right now, but no leadoff change yet here in between Nashville and Minnesota. And right now, we the third period is about already have begun. That's you right to Favreau. Favreau works his way around inside, and it looks like it's Zuccarello that takes it over. Golgio up to Harvin. Harvin rushes up to your initial zone. Scoops across. Gets blocked up in front. Yeah, that was their defensive border. They have it all out there in front. Shoots inside. Coming in, taking a seat. Stave. Still more time left here. The score still even. Minnesota wins over new face off an attack here in the defensive zone. Zuccarello works in a speed condition here. Kovacov takes a block away here from that shot. Zuccarello can't find anybody. Nashville Predator is back on the offensive end. Catch the save again by Kokoni. Kokoni has got a great work out there. Now he's working on its way through. Now he swings it up to find the man opener. Al Cole right up front finds Tomasino. Tomasino hasn't scored this uh, perfect goal yet. Forsberg or anybody. But there is a lot of help in defense here and, and offense to try to help him slow them down. Yeah, slowing him down can be a very tough one to make the pain one. There might be somebody nearby that wants to like give him an uh, um, yeah, uh, impressive run of their score. But the attack, maybe a little bit on up. Tomas now back to Kunin. Kunin right into the offensive end. Right to Johansson. Shot wide. Gordero has the puck control. The pass is taken away by Johansson. Johansson though. Not in time. No sorry by Bowling. Wilds back into the offensive end. Pass has been off and shot been knocked out. Boldy can't find anybody. Benny moves over to Tomasino. Alcone right up in front. Taking a shot. Oh, went down below. You could see that the hard run this offense was going to be smacked down. Take them down like it's a KO with a boxing. Fiala up in front. Saved by Saros. Foligno up, stays alive for Saras. Saras has like been all patient so far. He was like been quiet already and he was been knocking in time. Foligno and it's Kaonin with a save. Third period comes in winding down with 13.26 left. More time has come, it's 1-1. Now the puck drops, Nashville resumes. Hosey up in front. Maligno can't find the man open. The attacker, and it's Fabro taking away over after Sarah's save. Nashville getting a long boost. And a great, fantastic save by Kogan. What a shot! And a save, you mean. 
Now to our great in position right now. Hogan got a great use of it. Well done. Now let's play some zooms. Spurgeon. Which shows off to Erickson. Fligno. Swings the buck around the board. Hosey back up to the train. Nashville getting along on the momentum. Stopping over again on the offensive players on Harrison Eck. Hosey regroups his own. It's a long save by Oswald Cajonan. Wow, what a great help here for Cajonan. He is stopping big time out there. Looks like he's getting there all alone. Now they keep it going. Hosey up in front. That's off the shoulder pad here by Cajonan. Shot wide. Horseberry reduces the Fabro. That'd be back to John Husey. Up again. Going and saves me. Still stopping the puck here left. Only 11-14 remaining. Still more time left here. The score is now even tied. They're looking for a chance to break the tie away. Hosey right finding Fabrio. Back me up again on Forsberg. Hosey up inside. Fabro out front. And a takeaway by Zuccarello. Kaposov skating along momentum. Man on rush. And goes off chip on Saros with another save. Gets back over to Goliakowski. Kaposov shot blocked. The Predators gain, gain position here on offense. And the takeaway coming in by Dudney. Brandon takes it for cover. Dudney up inside. 2-1. Save by Cajonan. Cajonan, he's like a good champion. He could be going for the next one to try to save it again. The tape-to-tape -tape feed was even the only thing that calls here for Kaposov. And this time from sending it from the other side of the zone only gives him up here in front of an advantage out there. And now he knows he has a lot of the momentum here for Kaposov's take the tape feed. I'm sure we're looking for him for tonight if we have a new test tube. Forsberg's shot was lifted off wide. Fabro up the ducking. Shot, great save by Cajonan. Now we're under nine minutes left in the third period. Minnesota regaining control and speed. Pass up to Zuccarello, shoot, save by uh, Saros. Saros is keeping it going in again. Looks like the players are getting tired out there on the group lineup. Johnson, save by Cajone. And the puck will stop here with about 8.07 to go to catch their breaths. Terrific out there playing on time on attacks by those two teams, and it's now 1 1 still. Puck drop. Play resumes. Collegio. Ski up over to Goderu. The Wilds face up here on the offense here on the board. Saved by Soros. And it stops the play again. Only 7.42 left here in the third period. No scores yet in front of them. And they're all in a comfortable position out there. They're going to need to try to work their way around. Spurgeon, ah, oh, goes down wide with a hello, mate. Thomas Amo gets whacked up in front in the wilds. But recovers in your backhand shot. Won't be picked up in time. There are a lot of race on attacks here because that was going to be a very toughest call here for the Predators and the Wilds to pick up speed. Most of that time can be a way difficult challenge to try to spread them down to hurt their feelings. That might be a tough one to get right by them. Takes a shot. That goes up to Saros. That won't pick up around the other way. Hosey right to Johansson. Nashville regaining group. Johnson side attack here, saved by Cajonan. Now Bully will pick up momentum. 
Erase across the boards. Smackdown goes hard. The Predators are trying to stop their attack out there. They're going to need to try to, like, swish them around and go right around the other way. Johnson and it goes out with a block shot. Caprasaw has a buck up in control. Good out! Scores! Now the tiebreaker won't be left alone. It's a 2-1 game. What a great feed here by Gutero. Now their team is up in the lead of 2-1. Predators wins the faceoff. Grandlin inside going along and a burden takeaway. Now with five minutes left, it's 2-1 for Minnesota Wilds. Forsberg up in control. Now it's Harbin away. One on one advantage. Shoots off on Saras with a save. Moves along to Groundland. He will try again. Save off again on Kahone. Kahone was going to be a lot of a hot tackling or the troublemaking, but it may be very tough for them to try to stop them on pressure. May be tough for them to keep an eye on them, but it will be hard enough to regain control. Wow, the block is knocked off here in time. That knee up in front. Now swings over. Kahonen shot saved me. 320 left to go here for the third period and fifth game. Now he swings back to Hardman. Swings up a momentum. And they will have to regroup here. Ah, wow, Hartman went down flying by. Ball the inside. Scores! He has his first goal in the fifth game. It's a 3-1 game. Let's not forget about Matthew Boldy. He has now his wake his way around here. He has his great teaming in front of him. Now they're on the board. They're going to need to try to keep them alive. This is what they need to do to keep it going. Kahone takes a save. More moments to come in, and there is a chance here for the Minnesota Wilds to take the lead off here to break the series tie. Wilds wins again. Minnesota right back in the offensive zone. Fiala getting across in the blue back to blue line. Foley up front. Toro saved me again. Approaching down now to two minutes left in the third period. Shoots off block. Curran takes a save. This is a lot of a hard on this one game, but coming up will be the post game show to keep things up here. After the game is over, I will have I will take the judge here and find out who had the best player in this game. So whenever you guys are finished, we will close things up with the free star players of the game. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Santa Beast here. And at that moment, we got a we got a tough transition between the trick and the game is almost over in game five. Now the face-off win. Favro tests off to Tomasino. Nashville regaining group. Shoots up in front. Saved by Cajone. Now Cajone was pitching up here and now they're pulling the goalie away. Tomasino. Fiala up in front. One more minute left in the third period. Bully takes a shot and it goes blocked up with an open net. Ozzy up to Tomasino. Johansson dishes up to Fabro. Up to Gronlin. Gronlin try to speed the puck. Dumba try to work his way around. Fiala switches back over to Zuccarello. Wishes off to Dumba. Back to Broden. Wilds are moving the puck in fourth. Switching back and forth, Dumba to Fiala. 20 seconds left in the third period. Zuccarello, pass broken up. Hosey finds Tomas now. Tomanin up in front, out in front, and you're canooning. 
Sue Bakahonen. Sukarello up, Piala will dish it up, and that is the end of the game. Wilds wins the fifth game in the series. Now they have a 3 2 advantage. This advantage was like a no competition at all. That was all it took out with one of the best players in between each runs. What a game. And they're all saluting here tonight. What a game, fellas. As this now turns to be a 3-1 game, Minnesota has it up front here. They will be back here in game six after game five completion. So that brings it up here to the end, folks. With me and Orange Juice, this is Test 2. Thank you for watching of the Stanley Cup playoffs of Game 5. Thank you guys so much right now as we start with the three star players of the game with Cyrus, 49 saves. Turns out to be just like him before. And number two, we have is Korea Kapitov. One goal, one assist, and three hits. What a tap made here in a backhand shot. And that did turn up here before. And for number one, it was Kapo Kahonen. 56 saves, 0.982 percentage of the saving percentage. So that wraps it up here for the, for the Predators and Minnesota Wilds. What an extensive game this all turned out. And I'm telling you everything about the Wilds. They never give up. They wanted to keep it things going. And if they win again, they're heading on to the conference semifinals to face on against the winning team in between Avalanche and the Stars. We will have the next game for the Stars and Avs here tomorrow night here on NHL on Son of Beast, along with the other two of the Bolts and the Maple Leafs. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all see you again here for Game 6 of each matchups. Still waiting for Florida Panthers to give it up the, off of the run, and there might be a hard run impact to give them a core run. So thank you all for joining us here, and see you next time for as a while as the NHL 22 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thank you, and have a great night in Minnesota. Take care, folks.